Diary, hello. It is the middle of June 2022 and we are looking at the Garmin Forerunner 955 unboxing. Um, in fact, this is going to be a should I buy the Garmin Forerunner 955 uh, or not video, really. Uh, I'm going to look into the costs and the justifications. So first, the, the least interesting uh, part of the whole caboodle, which is the unboxing. Uh, Garmin 955 Forerunner is recently announced and we've made a decision in our family to buy one and use it as a primary uh, activity tracker and watch for all seasons and this will explain why. So let's get on with the unboxing. So uh, for £550, in the UK, what did we get for the money? We got this lovely box with the solar written on it, and inside we've got the watch and what else? We've got some gubbins. The gubbins are really just the instruction manual, uh, which just tells you there's a big exclamation mark telling you kind of not to kill yourself and the charging cable. Now, uh, as usual, this is the charging cable, uh, which has predates the 955. It's the same as the 945 cable. It's a four pin cable here. And of course, let's take the watch off. This means to say that uh, you can't charge the watch whilst you're running because the watch plugs in perpendicular like this. Uh, and then obviously you can't wear the watch at the same time. I mention that because uh, that's one of the strategies that you would use as an ultra runner, should you need to charge the watch on a long distance event. Anyway, so what we've got, we've got the box, some polystyrene, and we've got the watch itself. So let's get on with the the bigger question, which is what all 945 owners are thinking, which is, should I pay the £550 to upgrade to this watch? Oh, by the way, last part of the unboxing, there's the extra bit for the watch strap, so you can have two of these little rubber things on if you want. Okay, so the question you're all kind of thinking about if you're an existing Garmin 945 owner is, should I upgrade to the 955? Um, if you're in the lucky position of not having had a Garmin watch at all and you want a lightweight, high-end Garmin watch, this is probably the watch for you. Uh, to put it into context, Garmin make a variety of high-end uh, watches for athletes and this is a 50 gram watch. I think it's something like 53 grams watch and that's much lighter than the other high-end watches that they make. So I'll make reference in this video to other watches like this watch which is an epix which is my choice for um my my current generation of garmin watch but the 955 is significantly smaller significantly lighter uh, if for example you've got smaller wrists so um if you i have very small wrists and my partner has very small wrists also so both of us previously have had Garmin 945s, so that would be a very uh, decent reason to have a 955. So the price is 550, and I just wanted to go over the price because um, this video is definitely not addressed to people who are A, super wealthy, and B, who are couch potatoes. If you're in either of those categories, then please don't buy this watch. This is a watch for people who like to exercise and, and not sit around in bars and impress their friends. Um, the outgoing 945 watch, I think, is worth about £200 on the eBay market, which means to say that this is a, a, a sort of £350 step. And if we assume that the watch would last you three years, then that's really a cost of £120 per year for the new watch, assuming you can sell the old watch for £200. Um, and I think that's a very decent upgrade in terms of cash. Uh, to put things that into perspective, a tank of petrol these days in England will cost you about £100. A weekly shop for two people will cost you about £120 or, or more. Um, so if I was to say to you that for the cost of a tank of petrol or a week shopping, 
uh, per year you can afford this new watch. I think that's a very sound investment. Uh, don't forget this watch can be set as your Garmin preferred activity tracker, meaning that it can be measuring your heart rate and uh, pulse ox 24 by seven. Uh, and those uh, results are continuously transmitted to Garmin and then you can look at your health stats or, you know, kind of obsessively, which is what we would do as, as a family. So I think for me, despite the fact that you think it's a £550 watch and you've already got a watch which works perfectly fine, I still think it is worth the upgrade. Uh, so what are we getting on the new 955? Well, I'm going to put a, a, a link in the article to uh, DC Rainmaker's very comprehensive post. But the first thing you're getting on the Solar model is obviously the Solar. Now, if you see on the edge, there's a ring. You see that? There's a ring. And that ring is the, the primary Solar ring. And then the whole watch face is covered with a, another Solar panel. So the sum, the sum effect of those two Solar components is that you're supposed to be getting a significant solar boost, even in countries that are not very blessed with sun, such as the UK, which is where I'm making this video from. There is a cheaper version of the 955, which is a non-solar version, which will save about 50 pounds. So personally, even if, uh, and I'm about to argue, the solar version is pretty useless for me in the UK, I'd still go for this version because it's the top of the line version so it may make a difference and it, and 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 why not it's a 50 pound increment so i would go for it uh, for me i have very sensitive skin and i wear long clothing at all times so which is not the case for my partner so she's always to be seen in short sleeve clothing and the uh, watch would therefore be visible and have some chance of charging for me when i have as you can see there's a bit of a suntan uh, point there. My, I'm always in long sleeves so for me it would be completely pointless to have a solar powered watch and so I've not chosen a solar powered watch as my next generation Garmin. I think the the other point for me is that uh, as, a, as an aged person uh, my eyes continue to go downhill and for me the reason why I have had a 945 the reason why I wouldn't personally because it's a 955 is that my eyes are just not up to it and this is one of the standard Garmin watch faces uh, and that's about as large a text as you can get it and uh, I can read from here that I've done 20 well my partner's done 24,000 steps today now we did a we did a, a, a sort of a race today and you can see that's the epics to the left and you can see the difference in brightness so that's actually with the backlight on and you can see there's a huge difference in the uh, in the visibility of the watch. So for me, with my um, diminishing eyesight, the Epix was really the only choice in the Garmin lineup because it's got a, a, a an OLED screen, whereas the regular 955 has the uh, traditional LCD screen, albeit with a, a solar layer on it as well. So that's it really. I think that 955 does have a number of features that are currently not present on any of the other Garmin lineup. So not even on the Epix or the Phoenix 7, although, although word on the street is that those, those training features, those training and analysis features will be coming to other parts of the Garmin range, but thus far not. So at the moment, the Garmin 955 has the ultimate in terms of analysis of your athletics and exercise and it's a new a new Garmin watch it's got a two-year warranty uh, it has solar power I would say it's good for three years and so all in all it's about 120 pounds per year that's in GB pounds and I think it's a, a decent upgrade okay Dari hopefully I've, I've rambled on and giving the philosophy and giving you the, the absolute push to go out and buy that new 955. Thanks for watching.